I am very happy to announce the commencement of programs in the YouTube channel called Jignasa. The subtitle of this is Eternal Learning and Sharing. We are starting this channel on the 2nd of October which is the birth date of Mahatma Gandhi, the father of the nation. As all of you know, necessity is the mother of invention. And curiosity is the father of invention. So it is appropriate that we commence the proceedings of this channel on the birthday of Mahatma Gandhi, the father of the nation. I need to mention why we want to start this channel. We have recently formed a, a WhatsApp group called Health is Wealth and it is to the credit of members of this group that within a matter of about 15 to 20 days about 112 members joined this group called Health is Wealth and these 112 include about 60 retired IAS officers, officers of other All India services, 25 doctors from different parts of the country, including those who represent prestigious institutions like the Arvind I Care Madurai, Mahatma Gandhi Institute of Medical Sciences Vartha. Jana Swastya Sahayog Kendra, Nimhans, Bangalore, etc. During the course of exchange of information in this WhatsApp group, I realized the immense potential that is in this group of very distinguished persons of sharing their experiences with reference to their own achievements, life, lifetime of work and struggle in some cases. Hence, we thought, thanks to the very energetic and enthusiastic support from the children of one or two members of our uh, group, who are young technicians, technocrats and engineers that it would be good to have a WhatsApp group which is also linked to this channel called Jignasa which is eternal learning and sharing. Another purpose why this group is being formed is to inculcate a strong value-based orientation among those in public systems. I have found during my 10 years or so of capacity building in various organizations including the Marichanaradi Institute, the Center for Innovations in Public Systems ASCII Hyderabad and also the AP Human Resources Development Institute which is the first training institution to be set up by the government of Andhra Pradesh for its employees that the values are gradually diminishing particularly among those 
who are in the higher echelons of administration. I am not saying that this is true of all, but I am saying that this is true of a significant number of officers, particularly those belonging to the All India Services. It is also disturbing and disconcerting that some of the youngsters who are entering into the All India Services, brilliant, extremely competent, aggressive, are falling a prey to the absence of values in the first few years of their career. So it is the endeavor of this channel to build in them and others belonging to the other central and state services the strong focus on values. I have always said during the course of my interaction with trainees in various institutions that honesty and commitment are preconditions and they cannot be tolerated as an exception to the services. A person is being recruited very young and being given a number of facilities by the system only because he is expected to be honest and committed to his work. Hence, it will be an endeavor of this channel to ensure that those who have upheld these basic characteristics throughout their life, they share their experiences among the youngsters so that the these values get reinforced and are universally available, not as exceptions. One of the purposes of this channel is also to kindle interest among youngsters to focus on public institutions, particularly those which are in health and education. I find that the knowledge and awareness about some of the good public institutions is not adequate, particularly among the institutions. When I am talking of public institutions, I am talking of those that belong to the government and also those who are in the charitable sector. I have had the opportunity of working closely with organizations like the Arvind Aike, the CMC Vellore, Mahatma Gandhi Institute of Medical Sciences Vartha, Jana Swastya Sahayog Kendra, Ganyari, Chhattisgarh, etc. All of them are driven by a value-based consideration and also the deep desire of those who are running these institutions to cater to the needs of people in a very cost-effective manner. It will be the endeavor of this channel to focus on them and to multiply them in as many parts of the country as possible. This will be done through a series of presentations, interactions and uh, a lot of learning which is possible from them and through them. The awareness of these institutions also is proposed to be developed among various sections of the society. The other purpose of this channel is also to encourage more and more of people to enter into public service and ensure that they are driven by this value-based framework and I am sure that we would be able to achieve this with the support of all the good friends who are there as part of this group and who are outside the society. We would also try to bring in the best practices from different parts of the country. There are best practices in every state. 
it is also proposed to integrate various persons in different parts of the country a, a concept is also being developed by the government of india through ek bharat shreshth bharat and it will be the endeavor of this channel to bring in as much information as possible among the various positive aspects that are there in different parts of the country i find that it is extremely gratifying that some of the youngsters in the it sector are really driven by this desire to do some good to society i find that the per capita commitment of youngsters today in this it sector is far more than that was available during my generation when i was a youngster or even among the officers belonging to the all india services i would like to bring in these youngsters from different industrial sectors it sector to interact with officers of the all india services state services central services to inculcate in them the sense of public spirited functioning i do hope we would get a lot of support from the general public for the present we would like to focus on these five to six aspects and with support from uh, viewership i'm sure we would be able to take it take more and more themes into our consideration and spread them across we have already got commitments from about five to six very distinguished persons from different fields including administration education health women's development etc and we would like to build on this and focus on one theme and uh, this theme would be uh, put in the uh, youtube channel depending on the number of themes we would like to bring in new presentations at the rate of one per day thank you very much on jignasa i have three ideas to put forward one is the great idea of hippocrates food is medicine the second is prevention is better than cure and the third is simple remedies for common ailments without drugs on these three issues i will try to share my experiences in the channel